One of the most invasive species in America is right here in Illinois, making its way to the Great Lakes. And the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers has a shocking way to keep them out. Lorraine Bussinol wrote about it for them for medium excuse me for medium one zero online publication she joins us now with more thank hi you good so morning much for being here. hi thank you for having me that video was shocking seeing them but these are scenes that are being replicated across riverways that are heading towards the great lakes in our area yes yeah it's really happening everywhere the fish get agitated anytime there's boat traffic around and just leap out of the water wow Insane. so what about this electric fence to stop them uh that sounds like a very difficult thing to implement so so the U.S. Army Corps of Engineer actually uh, had it first running in 2002. Okay. And since then, they have installed three more barriers. So it's two barriers, one with two parts and one with one part. And they're actually installing a fourth one that should be up and running in 2021. Geographically, we're talking about, yeah, and here's a great map uh, looking at it, the Illinois River and the Chicago Sanitary and Ship Canal. First of all, how close to the Lake Michigan are these fish yeah. right now? I mean, we've had spots that they're getting pretty darn close. Yeah, so there's only ever been two caught above this electric barrier, one okay. in 2010 and one in 2017. So officials are still tracking them, trying to make sure they don't get any further. They do eDNA sweeps in the water every year to check. That's just checking if there is any trace of the fish. And while there can be hits, that doesn't necessarily mean that live fish are in the water. So this fish, it's not native to this area. Right, this it's not native to here. the United States. Yes. Okay, and that's kind of what the problem is right now. Right. So it was brought to the U.S. originally as sort of a um, waste control mechanism. They like to eat everything. So if you bring them into the waterways where there's aquaculture happening or other things, they can clean it up. But of course they escaped and originally got into the Mississippi River and then the, from the Mississippi River moved on into the Illinois River and then are getting ever closer to the Great Lakes. What are the dangers of using these electric fences? Obviously, it's been a long time since the first one was implemented, but I got to imagine with all the barge traffic and boat traffic that we have that you know, you don't want to touch it, I would assume. Yeah. Right. So the number one thing is the barge traffic. If the boats are going through and they aren't all connected by metal wires, they can have different voltages and that can increase the risk for shocks and then fires. But they have a lot of protocols in place to make sure that it's safe for workers and everyone around there. It's not only the electric fence. I mean, they're trying whatever program they can get to get people to catch these things, yeah. even paying for people to catch them. I've seen along the Illinois River dumps, I mean, like big, I say dumpsters, I mean like mega dumpsters filled to the brim with oh, these wow. fish and they continue, those efforts are continuing too, I imagine. Yeah, so there are commercial fishermen who are paid to catch the fish and they catch millions of pounds yeah. just to get them out of the water. But of course they breed so quickly and they grow so quickly that there's always more to replace them. So explain to people what will what could happen is if they make it into Lake Michigan, the Great Lakes. Mm -hmm. So they're not native to the Great Lakes either, any more than they are to the Mississippi River. And the big worry is that they'll outcompete native fish species. And so wow. those fish populations will decline. And because the Great Lakes have such a large commercial fishery and recreational fishery, that would be a huge problem. And we don't know what it would look like for the ecosystem either. So yeah. do you think this uh, electric fence is going to be foolproof? Is this just something that we can invest in, put some money behind it, and this issue will go away? Up to this point, it's it seems like it's worked really well. They've only ever caught two live fish past there, but yeah, there is definitely the concern that fish might sneak in along one of the barges that might disrupt the electrical field long enough, and if enough get past, that could create a breeding population. So there's other efforts going on. There's talks of making Brandon Road Lock and Dam more fortified to keep the fish out and constant monitoring. Are they wow. working on backup plans for what happens if they find these things in the lake, or is at that point, if they find a few, then Ooh, there's not much yeah. you can do. Eradication is a lot harder than preventing them from getting in. So yes, there is plans of, okay, what would we do if this happened? But really the most of the effort is directed towards just keeping them out. I, what other states are dealing with this problem and how have other states handled it differently? I think, so Michigan also is dealing with it. There's a big commercial fishery there too. And then states all along the Mississippi River have been involved in the effort, Kentucky as well. They're really spreading because the Mississippi River watershed is so, so expansive. Yeah. I know there's everywhere. chefs out there that are trying to make Asian carp something to eat. It's yeah. not the most edible food or it doesn't, it's not, we're not used to that taste, but they're trying to come up with ways to make it edible. Right, yeah, I think one of the big problems is that Asian carp bones are a lot harder to get out uh, than other types of fish. Yeah. So it's just of more course. challenging to cook with. <laughs> yes. Well, right. if any city can do it, <laughs> it is Chicago. <laughs> Throw we it can. in a deep dish pizza, I'll eat all of it, I don't care. If we can make it tasty, uh, we can do it, certainly. Thank
thank you so much for it's being an here. Issue, yeah. Thank you. Thank yeah. you. You can check out our story right now on 10.medium.com. We're also going to share the link to her article on our website at thejamtvshow.com. This is fascinating. I yeah. wasn't aware of this. Yeah. So, another issue to certainly be concerned about. For sure. Thanks so much.